Hey guys, RW here on Little Mountain, getting ready to do a few test shots here. Uh, doing my best to go for zero oblique, so I've strung it out. Got a string here. Got the uh, target secured so that you know I can measure off of it using a magnetic level here. And this is the first part that I'm real interested in is getting the elevation about right, which you know, if you account for string droop and everything, that's about about right. And then going this way off of it, you can kind of look down to see whether or not you're, you know, straight to that. So I'm 90-90, and I'm at 50 feet exactly. So now I'm going to put some paper around this and take a test shot just to demonstrate splatter off of a steel plate. And then I'm going to put up a plate with splatter mitigation on it, shoot at that with the same rig, and then you can see the difference. And then I'll shoot some more at that plate to see how the splatter mitigation shield holds up to multiple shots. We'll be using 308 when. All right, guys. Okay, guys, the big moment is finally here. I'm going to turn on all the cameras here. I've got this camera that was given to me by Painful 13. Brand new Vivitar. I'm going to turn that on, get that running. This will be aimed at the, uh, right at the target there. Get that zoomed in. You can see it's too clutter. I want to see the paper. I want to see what happens to the paper. It needs to be up a little more. There we go. Okay. All right, we'll start filming with this one. I hope. Yeah. Okay. Let's get that just right. Okay. Now I got a camera over here. This was given to me by Viva La Bam, your dad. And I'm going to have this one aimed at me. Get that one going. All right. Yeah, whatever. French, English, I don't care. Just, just do something. All right, so now, where am I, where is it? It's there I am. Okay, let's get zoomed in on me, hopefully. Hopefully that'll work, huh? All right, let's get that filming. Okay. And then this camera here is going to go on my little tripod for here. the camera real super close just for obvious reasons you know this is a splatter test all right guys let me go load up a round of 308 see if my chances are getting the target Guys, 
You think there might have been a problem if you were just wearing a bare steel plate? Let me zoom back out so I can show you. Okay, so we got a bare, bare steel plate. You're wearing it in your plate carrier. Okay. And then you get shot with a rifle round and all hell breaks loose. So, yay, the bullet didn't go through your heart. It didn't pierce your lungs. But anything even remotely near the plate <laughs> gets blasted, right? I mean, shredded. You can see the lead residue. So that's a great demonstration of unmitigated splatter. And this also shows me where I'm hitting. Okay, so this close, I am hitting about an inch low. I might have just pulled the trigger a little bit when I pulled, so I don't think right left is a problem, but I am about an inch low, so that's good to know. Okay, you can really see where that hit, and it looks to me like it did a pretty good job of spraying straight. You know what I'm saying? So, I think it's time to put a real plate up there. So uh, let me do that.